Did speaking out about conditions at a D.C. animal shelter end up getting volunteers fired? Well, a group of them say that's exactly what the D.C. Humane Rescue Alliance did this week. And they say it's because they raised concerns about the conditions in those kennels. Our Matt Gregory is live outside the Humane Rescue Alliance shelter on New York Avenue in Northeast to tell us more. So what are you learning? Yeah, we talked to several volunteers today. They say for months they spoke out about the conditions inside this facility here. But it was this week that they said they all got the same email saying their services were no longer needed. Christy Lambert has volunteered at DC's Humane Rescue Alliance since August at the New York Avenue location. My heart just dropped. But an email on Tuesday changed all that. The Humane Rescue Alliance fired her and she estimates at least 20 other volunteers. This just happened. It was a shock to most of us, so we're still trying to figure out what's going on. Lambert says for months now, she and others have voiced their concerns about the conditions for the animals in the New York Avenue shelter. The kennels were uh, had lots of feces, pee, you know, blood even on the walls. She and other residents documented what they saw in videos and pictures. They gave them to management, but last fall, she says when nothing had been done, they wrote a letter. That highlighted our concerns that went to board members of HRA, went to city council members, went to the mayor. Then this week, the other shoe dropped. Lambert and more than two dozen other volunteers got the same email fired from their volunteer roles, no specific reason given. The volunteers that they fired, I mean, these were people who've been there 10 plus years, oftentimes. We asked the Humane Rescue Alliance why, and a spokesperson sent us this response saying they had broad reasons to terminate the volunteers, including behavior to staff, violations of organizational policy, violations of privacy information, violations of employee confidentiality, and unwillingness to comply with basic organizational protocols. We asked Christy, did you participate in that behavior? Myself and those, you know, my friends in these groups, we were nothing but respectful and kind. As upset as she is with her firing as a volunteer, Christy is most concerned with the welfare of the dogs. She won't be able to help anymore. I mean, just this morning, I was looking at HRA's website, and the front page of their website says, volunteers needed, sign up today. Yeah, now we spoke with other volunteers, not just Christy. They said they experienced a similar thing, raising concerns, then finding out yesterday they were fired. Their services were no longer needed. At the same time tonight, HRA is telling us that there were other reasons they did not include in their uh, statement that they sent to us for firing those volunteers. They also said that other volunteers and staff are now relieved as a result of this. So this is a story we're going to continue to follow uh, throughout the week as uh, we learn more information about why these volunteers were fired from the Humane Rescue Alliance. In Northeast, I'm Matt Gregory. Back to you. Yeah, clearly more to find out about this situation. Matt, thank you.